Be me. 600 pounds tendy slayer. Out for a daytime stroll. Being pushed around by mommy and my steel reinforced baby buggy. Suddenly get a craving for my favorite snack. Start rocking the buggy back and forth chanting chicky chick chicky chick chicky chick. Here mommy let out a resigned sigh. She pushes me into the road into oncoming traffic. A puny car is no match for the weight of my 600 pounds frame. It smashes into me, causing the car to become a mangled mess, leaving me unscathed. Mommy gets arrested for attempted murder. They give me tendies at the police station. No honey musty- <coughs> I grab a police officer and force feed him dry tendies no dippy sauce. I won't obey the laws. He chokes to death. I get arrested too. The face when me and mommy share a cell. Bitch should have known she'll never get rid of me. Just carried out a covered late night tendy raid. Three tendies successfully recovered. Snuck back into my blankies munching on my tendies. Not a single good boy point lost. Push my luck by opening up Robert's 9000 on my MacBook. See mommy thread. My wee wee starts to feel weird and painful. Pet wee wee softly. Mommy sees light from MacBook and comes in. Pretend to be asleep to not lose good boy points. She almost closes laptop but fucking high res Mac screen reflects filthy Robert's 9000 mommy nudes. She turns on light lights and wakes me up, yelling, me sad. After a while she calms down, I say sorry and give her a huggy. Third uneaten tendi falls out from under the bed. She picks it up. I realize it's covered in my wee wee glue. She doesn't. Too late. Second baby boom began. Be me. Playing CSGO. Mummy and new chocolate daddy are wrestling downstairs. Suddenly get a hunger for tendies. Walk over to my GBP board. Waddling through the shit jugs and piss bottles. I have 40 good boy points. Enough for an extra large chicken tendy meal. I run downstairs to tell mummy. Bang on her bedroom door. Mummy. Mummy. I have 40 good boy points. I want tendies. He says sorry Anna. I'm busy. Maybe you can cook the tendies that are in the freezer. Bitch just crossed a line. I run back to my room crying and screaming and shitting my diapers. Get an idea. I grab my special 5000 good boy points. Damascus Cartana. Run back downstairs. As kick down mummy's door I scream. <laughs> You fucking normal fags. Smell my special diaper surprise. Chocolate daddy is confused. I take off my diaper and throw it directly towards his head. He screams and falls to the ground. My poop in his eyes. I then unsheathe my katana and chop off his pee pee. He screams even louder. Mummy leaves to take him to the hospital. She says he could be blind and that they need to put his pee pee back on or something. I wait 5 hours. Mummy comes back with an extra large chicken tendy meal and a mountain dew. My face when... Lost all my tendies and good boy points in the crash. Decide to earn 1 billion good boy points. Buckle down and start working hard. Clean the piss, shit, and come jugs out of my room and 100 good boy points. Step outside for the first time in years and go to the barber. Earned 10 good boy points. Get a shave and a haircut. Earned 50 good boy points for each. Enroll back in college. 100 points. Keep racking up points for years. Lose weight. Get fit 100,000 points. Get a girlfriend 10,000 points. Graduate medical school 100,000 points. Get married and buy a house 1 million points. Mommy awards points for grandkids so I get my girlfriend pregnant a few times as well. Decide to see them through college for bonus points. Fast forward. Kids come home for Christmas from Yuna. I'm getting close to my goal of 1 billion good boy points. My sons are happy to see me. My daughter is saying some shit about how stressful college life is. I'm having a hard time at college dad. It's so competitive. Well, honey, I'm sure you'll make it you just have to be yourself. I have complete faith in you I've been keeping close count of good boy points 10 points for giving fatherly advice means I've reached my goal. Oh daddy I'm so glad I have you here to keep me grounded. I don't know what I would do without you. Honey I love you too. Believe me like this. A smug smile creeps upon my lips. I've been a good boy for mummy. Right hook my daughter in the face. Shit on the dinner table. Ruin the Christmas dinner. My family looks on in horror. Sprint out of the house all the way to my mommy's retirement home. Kick the door down. Shake her hand and smear eye with shit. I've been a good boy mummy where's my tendies? She stares at me with dead eyes. A single drop in her left one. That was 4 years ago. I've been living off my GBP and eating mounds upon mounds of tendies ever since. I just did cummy cummy while screaming mommy mommy. Mommy came into room saying no tendies because mommy has man friend over. <coughs> I have enough good boy points now give me tendies. <coughs> Be newborn tendy. Goal in life to feed all the children. Bought by older lady. Must be grandma. Fed to 32 year old anonymous. 
I have disgraced my family. How do I redeem? 4chan. Mum gets off work early without calling first. Finds me in the pantry emptying my poop jug into the cat's litter box. Starts yelling at me. Saying that I'm fucking disgusting. Tell her that it's all her fault for breaking up with my dad when I was 6. She tells me that I need to be an adult. Cry and scream and even throw my shit jug at her. She says that from now on I have to go to bed before midnight. Tell her to fuck off and go to my room. Don't go to bed because it's fucking bullshit and I'm not a goddamn wage slave. She opens the door flat out at like 1am and is really pissed. Tries to push me away from the computer, but I'm too heavy. I start yelling at the top of my lungs. She rips my computer tower out of the wall and takes it up to her room. Knows I'm too fat to climb the stairs and thinks she's one. Lay down at the bottom of the stairs and scream until my throat hurts. Still no computer. She goes to work the next day. Wake up at like 3pm and no computer. Bitch has fucking overstepped her boundaries now. Go into the bathroom and lift top off toilet tank so I can shit in it. Sitting on tank and begin to turtle head when I get an idea. Pucker up my ass and waddle into the kitchen. Take huge shit in the microwave and set the timer for 3 hours. Mum comes home an hour later and the whole house fucking reeks. She's screaming about a fire in the kitchen. Can hear her crying 4 hours and even hear firemen stamping around. Later that evening she comes in sobbing. Sets up my computer tower for me flawless victory. Be me, mommy's big boy, 35 year old me, Saturday afternoon new daddy is at work but mommy is downstairs, mommy hasn't feed me yet, battle cry dot eggs, mommy my tummy rumble feed me tendies, stairs creak and she appears, Anon you haven't earned any good boy points this week, I didn't sign up for this shit dot jpg, decide to take matters into my own hands, take a deep breath, push my waifu to the side and grab my fat rolls, unleash all energy to stand up, walk towards mommy but run out of breath, idea dot p NG. Look down. Get a handful of tendy crumbs from my belly button. Time to unleash the beast. Yank mommy closer with my right arm. While she screams, I shove tendy crumbs down her throat. I feed mommy now mommy feed me. New daddy comes home early. Walks into room. Mommy is bent over gagging. Shirt still pulled up. New daddy cucked by the tendy. My face when be me. Calmly playing Roblox in my race car bed when I feel a gurgle in my tummy. Mummy, your big boy's belly made a noise. Mum opens the door, trying to see straight with her two black eyes. She was 11 minutes late with my tendies yesterday. She had to learn a lesson. Hey Alan, she whimpers. When was the last time you went to the potty? HM. Say, counting the time on my hands, about 9 days ago. Oh, okay, Anon, let's go to the bathroom. You, I don't want to go potty. Defeated. She walks away and returns with a canteen of poopy pills she has to stick them in my bum to make me go poo. Eager for what comes next, I smile gleefully and lay doggy style on my big boy bed. I let out a teehee as mummy reluctantly pulls my diaper down, covering her nose with a free hand. Nine days worth of piss and white pee is down my thighs. Mommy barely holding back the vomit. She forces the capsule into my swollen bum. The dried shit providing a thin crust around my brown hole. Nearly instantly, I hear a pop and then a rush of chunky fluid. A flood of shit flows from my bottom. Spraying into mummy's mouth and eyes. Stray nuggets of undigested tendies and ice cream sandwiches stick to my hairy ass cheeks. Mummy's trying to scream. Minus 50 good boy points. Minus but it's no use, as holding her mouth open only increases the intake of poo poo. Once the great flood stops, I look back with a billig smile and grin at mummy. Tears of joy are falling from her face, her mouth full of my chunky shit. Leave my race car bed and waddle downstairs. Pick out a 10 piece box of tendies. This will do nicely. Giggle and eat my tasty treats. It's been 3 weeks now and mummy still hasn't woken up. My pet doggy has started to eat her right arm. What should I do? Start eating 9001 tendies every day. Grow to 7 feet 9 inches and weigh 1000 pounds. Skin becomes fried tendy exoskeleton. Walk into the white house. Shit and piss everywhere. Now brown house. Kill Obongo and kids. Become new president. Nuke Africa and the Middle East. Colonize Europe and South Asia. Put in scared shitless. Use missile blockade to ward off any possible nukes. Nuke Russia. They nuke back. Destroy every single nuke. Colonize Russia. Rape and kill every single woman on the planet. Put every man through the meat grinder. Start to feel lonely with no normies. Feel existential depression. Want to save the human race. Study every single biological and anatomical text. Reproduce human DNA from frozen humans. Repopulate the planet using sperm donors. Raise my 150 children. Still feel like shit. Kill myself. If you haven't already check out my Redbubble portfolio, you might just find something you like. This, this is not okay. This needs to stop now.
This is cancer. This, this is so much cancer that I can feel the tumors growing on my back. And it's way down heavy on me, and it's not okay. Can you help a nigga out and just stop this? Please?